Good morning, America. This is David A. Pakta, candidate for the President of the United States of America, 47. By now, you found me. Congratulations. Price is right. Bingo. Come on down. You won. Okay? You're going to realize, America, when Barack Obama explains on the campaign trail who I am. Let me explain to you personally who I am. You're going to realize I've got a pretty large wealth portfolio in BlackRock. The largest asset manager in the world. I'm one of the wealthiest men in the world. But I personally live in famine because all my money is 100% invested in BlackRock and your mortgage-backed securities. So here's what happened today. I was really tired. Could be, This could have been a little bit of my fault and I probably could have curbed the situation in a hindsight, 2020. But it was a Hopkins choice. Double-edged sword type stuff. I ordered my burger as you see it here. Okay? Deluxe quarter pounder, no mustard, light ketchup, extra cheese, no pickle. Pretty simple order. Harold and I ordered it on the teleprompter screen with a large soda to go. I mean, to sit inside. They messed up the order. Not the end of the world. You know what I mean? So what? Go back and make a new one. I convinced him because I started eating mine because I was hungry. To leave one and bring me a new one because you're just going to throw it away. Okay? So, he comes back with the the manager comes over. The, the, the attendant brought the message to the manager. The manager comes over and he said, what's the problem? And I said, well, the order is wrong, but I already took a bite of mine. I wasn't giving it up, but I asked him to make me a new one because I was hungry because I had a plan. He was just going to throw it away anyway. And he messed up Harold's cheeseburger. He, Harold doesn't like cheese on his burgers. So he brought one with cheese. So he took that one back. And I asked him to please leave it on the table. I would like to feed a homeless person with that. That's a whole meal for somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to find out very soon that I've lived in famine for you. All of you. Each and every one of you. All in. Firemen said it. You go, I go. Okay? I got things, I got something to do on Christmas morning. I'm, I'm getting rid of homelessness in my administration. So, that's the deal, okay? So, I slipped, and I said, would you please leave the fucking hamburger here? And he blew an ass guess because I used profanity. Well, I explained to him, I said, I apologize for my language. I'm sorry. It means... For unlawful carnal knowledge of freedom. And then I asked him, because he was Middle Eastern, how long have you been in this country? I said, that means freedom. In the Constitution, under the Supreme Court in the United States, you're welcome. And so I said, he goes, I go, will you please leave the burger so that I can give it to a homeless person? That's a whole meal, sir. Just leave the burger. Okay? He said, no. I'm going to throw it away. <sighs> I raised my voice. I gave him the middle finger as he was walking away. And I said, fuck you. I'm going to call the police. Go right ahead. 
okay? They're going to laugh at you. It's not a threat. It's an insult. So we left. But the options choice that I made is there was a young kid videoing the interaction. I was a little too tired from my workout today, but I wanted to walk over and say, can you please continue videoing so that I can explain and share it on your social media? So I decided to come home to Jeff's house where we're working on the car from the last video for all of you that are paying attention consecutively or the new viewers that are browsing what you see. I'm in a really nice friend's house and he's let me use this desk so I can make a private call because he's our new independent chair for our campaign, for our grassroots effort here. So this is a plenty fine desk, okay, to make my point. This is really upsetting to me. It's a locally owned and operated. I'm going back in in a suit and tie and I'm going to speak to the owner because what the reason I said, fuck you when he walked away and flipped him off a pretty loud voice is because I nicely asked him for his business card. Would you please give me your business card, sir? No. And he walked away. I lost a drop of water. You know what I mean? I'm going to go have a discussion with the owner. And I'm going to explain to him my position. First, I'm going to apologize for using profanity. And I'm going to have a discussion. And if he doesn't listen, I'm going to go to McDonald's and file a formal complaint. Because I think that's unjust. So, because I'm desperately, desperately, desperately afraid of karma. Okay. I'm going to do my best to find a homeless person to give him my lunch. Not the soda. Just a burger. This is a nice burger. It's got all the fixings, you know? A homeless guy would love this shit. Unless I get hungry until then. It's the thought that counts. It's really the thought that counts. But I ate one. You know what I mean? I'll be good till dinner time. It's only in the afternoon right now. In beautiful San Diego. Okay. So Sally Ann Scarpala, Barack Obama, Mary Ann, this is who I am. Money cannot change me. You can't make me jealous with money. You can just piss me off. That's it. Okay. Jealousy is an ugly emotion. I've got every right to my emotions, okay? That was something that was brought up and that we're going to bring up when we address prison reform, okay? The health care system and the whole nine yards, I promise you. But let's just stay on point here. I don't know what this cost. I can't remember. It was like... Maybe between 12 and $14. You know how hard it is to scrape up 12 or $14 when you literally do not have a means of income and you're living on the street in a paper bag? No. No, 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 no. Not in my administration. You're going to find out, new viewer, who I really am if you already haven't already, okay? 
I want homelessness vacated from the United States of America as a model to the rest of the world. I was doing a little bit of math, okay? The math is as follows. The total amount that I can calculate from the last Supreme Court win in 2016 was from a date from 2007-8 when I stopped trade, but the account still continued to achieve revenue was $5.4 trillion in mortgage-backed security holdings. Pretty much lock, stock, and barrel. I only got about $50 to $53 remittance payment on a million-dollar home every month. Okay? And it added up to $8.5 billion. I'm the man who bankrupt countrywide. You're welcome. I'm proud of that. But there's a lot of mortgages in my trust to make that money. So, I have the ability to help the homeless problem. I have the ability to reform the prisons. The doctrines, ladies and gentlemen, have already been accomplished have already been submitted to the Supreme Court and run up the flagpole. What my plan is, is the president of the United States of America. Okay. But that takes a big responsibility. I got BlackRock and Lawrence Fink handling the fucking finances. Okay. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is my last videos. Okay, because I'm looking at the global humanitarian effort in the footprint of the United States in general. Vladimir Putin is going to be vapor. Okay, dust to the wind. We're not going to have to deal with him anymore in my administration. One way or the other, he's going to concede to my argument. So I started the argument today. Because I can. (sighs) McDonald's needs to start. Neighborhood outreach. They've already got the Ronald McDonald House. I understand that. But the outreach should be something of the nature that when they mess up an order, it gets put in a secure locker. Whatever that locker is like a heated type locker to keep the food warm. And then it should be delivered on a neighborhood outreach every night. One hamburger, (laughs) one mess up can make the difference between somebody dying that night of starvation. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my playlist to this video because it's fitting of David A. Pachta at Interfaith Escondido literally, literally dragging homeless people out of the rain into my government-protected, coveted facility 
and training them how to become government, IBM, NASA style placement employees with skills. Okay? Your next president. That's what I do under this witness protection program, Presidential Secret Service Detail. Okay? Nobody knows who I am. And I love my autonomy. I love this. It's in the Black Rock tradition. I'm a spook. The name of the nickname of our federal government lab privately owned by me. His skunk his sorry, that's taken. Spook works. <laughs> okay. Because we're ghosts in the night. Okay. Silent is the night. Catch me if you can. I'm safe. FW, a.k.a. my corporate title for David A. Puckta, 1988, DBA, BlackRock Financial, Incorporated, Aladdin 4.0, Copyrighted Trade Platform. You're welcome. The ninth silent partner of BlackRock. I'll see you soon, Lawrence. I'm proud of you. Peace out, Barack Obama, Vice President, 2024. Oh, I forgot. Now that you met Jeff, now that you've met Richard, my two campaign managers for the Republican and Independent, their job is to do one thing. Open up a pack so that we can get enough money to pay ACDC to play at the inauguration. Sound Productions, Mr. Carey, my CTO in Proton Spin Technology, has already been ordered the booking, and he can do it. He puts on rock concerts, ladies and gentlemen. The inauguration is going to be so loud. The White House is going to be so loud. When I step off Air Force One, Soon as I touch the lawn, ACDC is ordered go on Hell's Bells. Peace out. That's my go button. Okay. Barack Obama, Vice President, Salian Scarpala, Supreme Court Justice, Manhattan, New York, SEC Fraud Court, Part 39. She can take your money and put you in prison. Under a false SEC claim. You understand? Somebody who you don't want to mess with. Is my trustee of my wealth portfolio. Pretty much the trustee. Of the United States of America real estate market. Because it's only worth 4.8 trillion. I've got 5.4 minimum. That's when BlackRock was worth six trillion. Now BlackRock is worth three hundred and eight trillion under asset management. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I'm worth. But all I had to do was ask the federal question. 
Sally Ann Scarpala, do I have enough to do what I want to do on Christmas morning? That's all I need to know. Yes or no? It's a federal question. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's your hint. David A. Puckta, number 47, a.k.a. F.W., final word.